Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for a Max Effort Upper Day. As we said, we're coming back to conjugate immediately post-meet. Now people are going to be like, Jason, you're not going to deload after this meet. Nope. Nope, I feel good, my energy's good. I might only do a deadlift tomorrow instead of a squat, just because my hip's a little fatigued from the couple of the squat that buried me at the end. I got stapled. But... That aside, I mean, I'll discuss the meat later. Um, I didn't rehydrate properly. You guys saw the pictures. That is the leanest I have ever looked in my life. Even the head of the USPA in Texas, when I walk in the door, because he saw he's met me before, because Jason, you're looking lean. Oh my God. So, because you guys saw I had veins all the way up through my quads and adductors um, in the pictures. Uh, I had some issues with the rehydration. Uh, my upper back wasn't strong enough and I ran into some problems with the squatting, but I walked away with decent total. Didn't get technical red lights for anything, met a lot of good people. And I walked away with another state deadlift record. I broke my own record. And I needed this practice run for worlds, right? Get some of the jitters out of the way, make everything smooth. i uh, work on some stuff. And now I've got a game plan. Um, going to work more on body composition, going to work more on getting leaner and leaner to make it a lot easier going into worlds. Um, I have some help with that. Uh, people who haven't figured it out yet because they don't watch. My girlfriend preps bodybuilders so and bikini competitors, so she's helping me a little bit with that. So we're going to get some body composition changes, uh, continue to get leaner, and bring my GPP and volume way up because again I've got to maximize body composition I got to maximize glycogen storage be as lean as possible be as thick as possible walking into world so we're going back to full conjugate means the volumes are going to go up there's going to be a lot of pump work I'm going to have double maxes on the lower days usually so that I'm still getting a bench squat and a deadlift every week like I've been doing as you guys can see we're going to do a lot of pump volume. My upper body particularly has to get thicker for the bench, right? My triceps, my delts, everything have to come up. I've got to work on that upper back more. Um, it killed me on the squats, especially after some minor issues with the refeed, with some of the food choices I made, gave me diarrhea. Caused me some, some fatigue issues. Uh, and I still got the weight back up, but not as heavy as I got last time. Didn't get as heavy as I got last time. So, uh, we started today with benching with the buffalo bars. It's a little harder. I got up to it. Just a good training max. I'm going to max winning style. Got a good training max. Just topped at 272 because this bar is a lot harder. Build it up from there. The bench is going to go up. The bench is going to go up pretty quick uh, because I'm going to build everything up. I'm going to bring my carbs up higher. A lot higher and just use GPP and get some nutrient partitioning okay we're gonna maximize everything the training volumes again they're gonna be higher a lot of delt work a lot of tricep work upper backs can get a lot of work so what do we do for assistance for assistance we did six sets of ten with the Buffalo bar pausing everything relatively close to failure given the fatigue from the the training max near the end so, you know, again, the, the pecs are not getting a lot of volume day to day, but when you add up the two days, because we're going to have a dynamic effort also, it'll be a lot. All right, triceps are going to get a ton of volume. Delts are going to get a ton of volume. So after that, we did five sets of 10 on the JM presses, using the same weight I used last time, although I felt it a little bit in my left elbow getting a little funny, but we're going to do band press downs every workout to help with that, strengthen those tendons up. So I did this for five sets of 10, the j on presses. And I'm not gonna go up and wait until I get this form really perfect, closer to how I want it. But it is hammering my triceps, absolutely hammering them. We felt that deep stretch in the pecs, getting that longer range of motion using that other bar, gonna bring the pecs up. Uh, bent dynamic day, I'll probably go from the dynamic stuff straight to, straight to uh, dumbbells. So I'll do dumbbell presses probably on Thursday for dynamic effort upper day. I think I'm going to start with chains for this rotation. 
Uh, I got the spud sling straps. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. That'll be easier than setting up those lead chains I run all the time. I've got tons of chains. Uh, I'm going to try. I got all the stuff I think I need to convert this rack to more or less an open base so that I, if I need to do really wide box squats for speed or really wide sumo, if I want to do sumo speed pulls against bands inside here, I'll have the setup for that. All right, I'll have the setup for that. I'll be in a house by the end of the year. I'll be in a house by the end of the year, guaranteed. So I'll move everything to a garage and then I probably am looking to you know, get a deadlift platform possibly with band pegs. I'm not sure. Maybe. Although the open base on this might be good enough. And probably a leg press. All right, that'll give me a lot of diversity. Let me get a leg press. So, after that, again, we got our tricep work in. We did decide, I decided to do some rows. Now I'm gonna row on a lot of these days. I'm gonna continue to do pull-ups and chin-ups and abs as a part of just my daily GPP. Uh, as soon as I, I'm gonna wait a few days though to get back into that because again, I did just do a meet and I'm already back in training. So we're gonna start, keep doing that, but to get the extra upper back work, I'm gonna do rows at least on the upper days, some type of row. Some of them will be axle bar rows some days. I might even do some of that on lower days. But today I only felt I only had the four sets and I was getting really fatigued. But I'll try to get, you know, five sets of rows of some type on my upper days, in addition to doing all those pull-ups throughout the week. All right, so we want to make sure we're really hitting that whole middle and upper back. I need to keep building that. I need to keep building it. Plus it helps with my grip and everything for the deadlift. But that upper back got to keep getting it stronger and everyone's like your back is massive i'm like yeah it is my, my lats are massive some of my upper back could use a little more size and, you know and that could matter on my deadlift it definitely i think it's definitely impacting my squat once i was fatigued uh, and it may help with my bench we just need the stability so it's going to get a lot of priority you know so shoulders and upper back triceps of course we're going to keep working the pecs and they're technically going to get more work because of the two two upper days a week now uh, but my overall volumes are just going to go up. We're going to take the volumes up. We're going to take the GPP up. All right. We want to keep our just our total energy turnover up, our total size of glycogen stores and everything up, so that again I've got easy to dispose of weight. It'll keep me as strong and as anabolic as possible. It will give me wiggle room to get leaner. And if I want to need to do weight cuts, it's going to make it easier for me to cut water going to be a lot easier all right and that's what I noticed even even this time you know the, the the water dropped quicker because I was leaner with a little more glycogen so I need to accentuate that further all right I need to be real lean and real thick if I want to be competitive in the weight class I'm in at my height because I am a little too tall for the 90 kilo but older guys it's a little different for our older weight classes so, I mean, I have that to work with. And I mean, if, if I get strong enough, I could do a couple of meets in the 100 also. Uh, and I already had a clown say, oh, you're cherry picking feds. I'm not cherry picking feds. I went to the biggest federation there is. I am competing in the biggest, strictest federation that, that does untested meets. Period. Hands down. That's not cherry picking. Now, my class is a little bit easy, but that could be short lived. The sport is growing. Other people are going to come in. I know other guys who are strong, who are like one year, one year, two years out right now from being in my class. If I don't get better, even if I set records, they're going to break them. So I better be on top of it. So would we do after the uh, McDonald bar seal rows, we went to upright rows, five sets of 10, doing these with a fairly narrow grip, because I'm not really doing any real bicep bicep work I think all the chin-ups pull-ups and even all these upright rows and stuff will cover it for my purposes just because the sheer volume of it's going to be so high but again this is an all-around shoulder builder builds the shoulders five sets of ten on the upright row okay then we followed up with five sets of ten on dumbbell lateral raises again need to bring up the shoulders and i'm not saying this is what i'm going to do every workout i'll do some stuff with front raises i'll probably mess some with rear delt flies this is just 
you know, all around hitting all three heads in the upper traps. Again, to work all of those areas really well between two movements, right? Two different movements, giving me 10 total sets. Same thing when it comes to the triceps. Uh, you know, we did five sets of, of a big exercise and five, five sets of a slightly smaller exercise to hammer those triceps. And all of these muscles are being worked through other stuff. The only thing that the volume's a little lower today might be the rows, but I'm gonna be doing pull-ups still the way I've been doing just as part of my daily routine. Some pull-ups, some chin-ups. So that stuff's gonna be worked really hard. But yeah, my training volumes are definitely gonna be up. But I mean, keep in mind, guys, I also did the thing where I trained seven days a week with max effort. And it took me a while to overtrain. So I think only training four days a week and just staying in really good shape, right? Staying in really good shape, keeping the diet on point, the sleep on point, stress management on point. Uh, everything should be good here. All right, we're gonna just keep moving forward. Keep leveling up, keep leveling up. But yeah, you guys are about to see a new error on this channel, right? I'm about to get a lot leaner. I think a lot of people were shocked already at where I've been. We're going to get leaner. We're going to get a lot thicker up top. Get the conditioning up. Get all around strong again with conjugate and smash meets. And even if I don't reach all my goals this year, I'm already qualified for nationals next year. I'm going to nationals next year. I'm going to sign up the day it opens up, just like I did Worlds. So if I don't get the world records I want this year, I'm gonna get them at nationals. Hey, I've got a great support system in place in my personal life. Uh, my life is going phenomenally well on every level imaginable. Uh, you know, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially. I am in a great situation and I'm gonna keep rolling forward with that. Right? We're going to see the best version of me possible. And I'm going to be the best coach I can be possible. I'm going to keep coaching my clients. I'm going to keep blowing that business up. You guys are going to see more and more client blogs. Other people are occasionally wanting to work in. Uh, again, I'm sitting right now at 35 clients. I'm officially back at 35. With other people talking about coming back who are former clients. Another guy who's going to start next month who already applied. You know, there's always some turnover. But here we go, finishing off with some band press downs to finish the triceps, work on the tendon health. Overall, pretty happy with this workout. We're going to steamroll worlds. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.